Hi, welcome to Oma's Kitchen. Oregano. For my Oma's Kitchen Tip videos, you've seen me talk about tomatoes, and you've even seen me compare small appliances in my kitchen. But I haven't talked about kitchen safety and food handling practices yet, so let's do that. I briefly mentioned ripening fruit in paper bags in the Plum Preserves video, but the reason that works so well for stone fruits like plums, peaches, and mangoes is that all ripening fruit gives off ethylene, which is a gas that helps them ripen, and the bag concentrates it. Apples give off lots of this gas and sometimes adding an apple into the paper bag with other fruits helps ripen them faster. I wash all produce when it first comes into my home and again right before I use it. I use hot soapy dishcloths to wash my countertops before, during, and after cooking. I buy white cloths and towels so I can bleach them in the laundry. And I use a new clean cloth and towel each day. Hand washing is so important, and I wash mine before, during, and after cooking as well, especially before handling something like bread dough. Accidents happen, even to experienced cooks, so keep your pot holders away from your stove top. Here's... Good job. Here are... <laughs> I use a different cutting board and a different knife for meats than I do for fruits and veggies to prevent cross-contamination, because yuck. Even for pre-cooked meats like sausages. I never leave leftover meats or dairy sitting out for more than an hour without refrigerating or using it in a dish. and I always use leftover meats within a few days. Leftover chicken makes excellent fried rice. I always taste test the food I've prepared to see if it needs salt or spices, but I never put the spoon back in the pot or pan. If I need to taste again, I use a clean spoon each time. And one last tip. You don't need a rinsing agent in your dishwasher if you live in a hard water area. Just throw a half a cup of vinegar in your dishwasher once it's loaded and run it with your detergent. It works better, it doesn't put chemicals in the wastewater, and it's cheaper. No spots. Okay, that's it for this Oma's Kitchen Tips video. 
thank you for joining me in Oma's Kitchen. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll upload more tasty videos soon. And a special shout out to Moon Pie and Lil Bit. Till next time. Oregano.